Hey YouTube, this is Trains and Destinations, and today we're gonna to take a quick look at this very old laptop that I own. So this is an HP laptop. Um, I believe it came out around 2009 or so, and it is in really rough shape. So as you can see on the right-hand side, the DVD drive is completely missing. Otherwise, you got the power port, the Kensington lock, and USB. And then on the back of the laptop, uh, the battery is missing too. It went dead a long time ago. Uh, this thing also overheats because really, even when this thing was new, the cooling system was never good for this particular laptop. But yeah, this thing came with Windows 7 Home Premium, although unfortunately it was upgraded to Windows 8. And amazingly, despite not having a battery or a DVD drive, this thing still works. So I'll show that off in a sec. And then you got your vent so here on this side got your hinge there then you got uh, VGA that's what it's called then Ethernet uh, HDMI USB ports headphone jack uh, headphone jack microphone jack full-size SD card reader some indicator lights um, and then it does have like these sort of front firing speakers. So the speakers are on the front here technically, which is pretty cool. So this laptop was originally my brother's. So it's, I think my brother's second laptop he ever got. And again, he got around 2009 or so. Um, and then once he moved up from there, then this became my laptop. And then my dad used this laptop. Uh, this, I mean, it was cool for the time. I mean, this is 17 inch, which was, you know, a good size for the day. And you can see what it is right there. This is the Pavilion G7 laptop. You can see the exact model there. Decent size trackpad. Got the original stickers on it still. The AMD Vision processor, Windows 7. But again, like I said, this has been upgraded to Windows 8. Um, I'll turn it on now. Like I said, this thing still works. All these years later. Now, I'm going to go ahead and plug in a keyboard because, um, long story short, one reason why I stopped using this laptop was because I actually spilled a drink on the keyboard, and that fried the keyboard. Again, it still works, but the keyboard more or less doesn't work. It, the keyboard itself doesn't work anymore. And then, unless this thing's on an elevated surface, it will shut down after 10 minutes or so because the... Uh, the cooling solution in this is so bad. This thing overheats really quickly. That's not a good sign. So the fan is on, but so far nothing on the screen. I've not started this laptop in several months, so could be an issue there. All the ports still work, so that's why I'm able to plug in everything. look at the keyboard even though this is this laptop is from 2009 it's a very familiar layout i mean essentially by this time laptops are still very big and chunky but in terms of like the layout and the trackpad you know a laptop from this era is still pretty much accurate to today okay so fast forward the laptop got stuck so i had to restart it but here we go again this thing's in pretty shitty condition but somehow it still boots up Not bad. So it does auto load into guest, and I think part of the reason is because um, I have lost the password, the master password for the main account. So yeah, it'll just instantly take you into guest. So that's fun. As far as the specs go, I, I'm not 100% sure, but this is the model number. It does have the AMD Vision processor. I'm not sure about the RAM, but let's take a look at this. So we got WebRoot. So, okay, I, I do stand corrected. This is Windows 8.1, so it does have the start menu, sort of. As you can see, it has this, I, I hate this. This thing is just so awful. Like. I hate, I hate Windows 8 with a passion. It's the worst thing I did to this computer. Like, and as you know, Windows 8 is designed for a touchscreen, which, yeah. 
This obviously is not a touch screen. You can see all of the ancientness. So you got Adobe stuff, you got iTunes, old HP stuff, Firefox. Look at that old eBay logo. Mm -mm -mm. Everything of course in here is old. This thing has not been updated in a long time. But it's so shocking that all these years later this hard drive works and the screen's in good condition too. Um, I, don't quote me, but I mean, oh wow, look at that. You have old school Chrome, but yeah, apparently this does work. Oh yeah, well, internet doesn't work, but you, but yeah, you can see. Got old school Chrome there. Um, also got Internet Explorer, rest in peace. So let's go ahead and take a look at the system. So we'll find out what this thing is running. I've always wanted to make a video on this because at this point um, I am going to be moving in a month. So I'm not taking this with me. This is going to be recycled. Um, I work in an electronics store. So yeah. So it says, computer name is Andrew. That's my brother. Like I said, this was my brother's laptop and it became mine. Uh, Windows 8.1, so at least it's not the worst version of Windows. Uh, that's not good. Processor not available. RAM not available. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, that's weird. Uh, let's try the task manager. That'll probably tell us. Okay, there we go. So here is what we have all been waiting for. So it's the AMD, whatever that is, the Phantom 2 P960 quad core running at 1.8 gigahertz. So it is a quad core processor. So um, obviously back in the day, AMD stuff was cheaper than Intel. So this was not the most high-end laptop back then. So it made sense for it to have an AMD processor. Um, has four gigabytes of RAM which is pretty good. I mean, that's pretty good for, um, you know, 2009, 2010, or whatever this came out. This could have come out in 2012. I really don't know what year this thing came out. Um, if you know, please say so in the comments, because I do not know. And then it does have a 500 gig Hitachi hard drive, which surprisingly still works pretty well. I mean, as you can see, this thing is running pretty smoothly. Um, and then of course, yeah, Wi-Fi. I don't think the Wi-Fi on this works anymore. Of course it doesn't but yeah it's not bad I mean as you can see everything is basically smooth I guess you could say and then as a the last thing I um, got out got iTunes to work here it is old-school iTunes uh, it's one of the few things that's still working here because unfortunately Mozilla I tried that doesn't work uh, a lot of these other things don't work but yeah good old iTunes does work <laughs> how fun and let me just end off by Ooh, look at that animation so let's actually see what this internet explorer so that's actually interesting so apparently internet explorer was different on windows 8 so it has this sort of weird minimalist modern look very strange ah okay. oh, god i hate this so much Ugh. no that's not what i wanted ah all right anyway thanks for watching let's see why this thing was this OS was pretty bad. I mean, my goodness gracious.